When we hear about life insurance, we're often bombarded by different types that offer different protections and investment opportunities. A major leader in the field will clarify life insurance types for your ultimate benefit. Termites in my house? What do I do? We get with an expert to see how new termite treatment methods make termite eradication more effective than ever. Packing up and moving has just become a whole lot easier thanks to one familiar name who has everything you need to empty your house, store it, or transport it. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. I was concerned I may have termites. So Designing Spaces brought in Bob Hickman from BASF. And it was really interesting because I learned a lot about termites and how to eliminate them. But guess what happened? The inspection discovered that I do have termites. I was horrified. So what do I do next? Last time we met with Karen, we just discussed information about termites and did a preliminary inspection. We also arranged an inspection by a professional pest management company. Unfortunately, the inspector found termites. So today, we're gonna to go back with Karen and discuss her treatment options to eliminate her problem. Bob, I'm so glad you're here. Now that I know I do have termites, I want your advice on the best treatment possible. Well, Karen, what I'd recommend to you is what I'd recommend to anyone with an active infestation in their home. But before I make that recommendation, let's cover your options so you better understand why I'm making that recommendation. You have two basic options, a liquid treatment to the perimeter of your home, right around the foundation, and termites trying to get into your home will pass through that treatment and be controlled. The other option is a baiting treatment. Bait stations are placed at intervals around your home. Termites, through their natural foraging nature, will run into those stations, feed on the bait, and eventually be controlled. That can take months to work. And because you have an active infestation, you want quick arrest of those termites right now. So a liquid treatment with Termidor HE is what I would recommend. You live in a very high pressure area here for termites, and there may be multiple colonies on your property. So not only are you controlling the termites in your home now, but Termidor HE will provide you with that residual control for years to come for any other attacks from those colonies. So the inspection found termites in the front of the house, but we have a dog and two cats. So will the yard be safe for them if we use the liquid treatment? That's a great question. When a Terminor HE liquid treatment is made, it's made to only a four inch band around the walls of your structure and the perimeter area. Once it's applied, it binds with the soil. At that point, people and pets can re-enter. In addition, it's a water-based formulation, so there's no smell or odor associated with it that was like the old termiticides that had the petroleum distillate solvents that you always smelled for literally weeks, even months after an application. Oh, good to know. So can you tell me a little bit more about the baiting system then? Sure. The Trelona ATBS baiting system works like this. Stations or little plastic stations are installed in the ground at intervals of 10 to 20 feet around the perimeter of the structure. Inside the stations is a highly engineered food source that is actually preferred by termites over their natural food. So termites through their normal foraging run into these stations and they start feeding. They like it and they leave a pheromone trail to other termites to come in there and feed. Now the stations are checked on a regular basis by the pest management technician. And when he sees that feeding, he pulls out the one food source and then puts in the bait, which has the toxin in it. Same food source, but this time it's got the toxin. Termites continue feeding, and through a process called trophallaxis, which is social feeding, they share that bait throughout the colony. Not all the termites have to come to that, that particular station to feed. So slowly, the toxin is shared, and eventually you get control of the termites. So how long do they stay in the yard? Well, you can see regular service by a technician, the stations are in the ground. They have to be in the yard continuously. Once you pull them up, 
you lose the ability to control the termites. So where would I go to get this baiting system? Well, when you call around for a pest management professional to install it, make sure that they're using Trelona ATBS. Good. Well, it's good to know that I have options, but for my situation, it sounds like the liquid treatment is probably the best one, right? That's correct. With an active infestation in your house, eating your house as we speak, you want the quickest control, and that would be Termidor HE liquid. So just as a, a refresher, it's not a big treatment. It's just a two inch deep by four inch wide trench dug next to your house. Once that's covered up and it, it's absorbed by the soil, it binds with the soil, it's safe for people and pets to re-enter. And at that point, you just want annual inspections to make sure that zone has not been disturbed. Okay, and how do I find someone who uses Termidor? Well, that's easy. Just go to our website, terminarhome.com. There's an icon there that allows you to find a pest management professional. Put your zip code in, it'll bring up a list of pest management professionals in your area that have been trained to use Terminator HE. Great. Thanks to Bob, I went on their website and found a pest control company who could give me advice and start treatment immediately. They were great to work with and there was no problem with my pets. And now my house is free of termites and it will remain that way for years. But from now on, I'm getting regular inspections because I'm not taking any more chances. Thanks again, Bob, and thanks Designing Spaces. We'll continue to follow Karen's story and we'll update you in an upcoming episode. In the meantime, to see this portion of the show again, visit designingspaces.tv, where you'll find a link to their website as well. Coming up next here on Designing Spaces, we visit one home where a remodeling project requires moving out of the house. Where do you put all the furnishings? We've got the answer, so don't go away. My daughter just left for school and the house is cleared. My husband and I have been waiting for an opportunity to do major remodeling of the house. There's just one problem. We have no choice but to move furniture and other things out of the home. Where am I gonna put it all? Designing Space has reached out to our friends at U-Haul to step in with their suggestions. Melanie's remodeling project is a perfect example of how U-Haul provides storage solutions for people with do-it-yourself, hands-on tendencies. Versatility and convenience are the name of the game here, and for Melanie, it all starts with U-Box. Sperry went to a local U-Haul facility and picked up a U-Box on a trailer and brought it to the house. Okay, the first thing we want to do on our U-Box trailer is go ahead and deploy the ramp gate. Next, we're going to open up the Velcro on the door here. Now to open the door, we're just going to loosen these two bolts, top and bottom, and open this hasp here on the side. And the door will swing open. And then we're just going to retain it with this locking latch pin here on the side of the trailer so it doesn't come back and get in your way. OK, our U-Box is a 5 by 8 by 7 and a half wooden box. Uh, it fits about a room and a half of your furniture or things, which uh, equates to if you have a one-bedroom apartment, you need two U-boxes, two-bedroom home, you'll need three U-boxes, and so on. Okay, Melanie, I brought along some items today that are gonna help you get packed up. So first, we've got the Enviro bubble, bubble wrap. This is obviously gonna help protect your lamps, dishes, all those loose items are gonna be packed into boxes. Wrapping paper, this is handy. It's, uh, as most people would use, newspaper or something to line a box and maybe separate dishes and cups. This is nice because it doesn't have any of that newsprint that's gonna come off like it does on your fingers. The glass packing kit is great. This has got individual foam pouches to protect your stemware, uh, crystal, and then this egg crate configuration that drops into a box. Tie down rope, obviously gonna be handy for tying off some of those uh, larger sort of ungainly items. The shrink wrap. Is obviously going to be handy for, again, bundling up some of those larger items, some chairs and so forth once we get those into the U-Box. And then I've also brought along an easy pack box kit, 10 small boxes, 10 medium boxes, tape, sharpies, all the stuff that you really need to get going. Once you get everything into the boxes, you can use the hand truck that was provided with your U-Box today to easily cart everything out. Sounds just like what I needed. <laughs> Now 
of the furniture. Yeah, you look like you could use some help right about now. And maybe a couple more U-boxes. I've got help on the way and two more U-boxes being delivered. You're the man. Joining Melanie and Sperry from U-Haul are two moving helpers. Now Melanie has the muscle available to start moving the furniture into the U-boxes. When you're loading your items into the U-box, you want to be conscious of loading your heavier items first on the bottom of the box. So you can start by making tiers. Start at the back of the box with heavier items and progressively getting lighter towards the top of the box. So china and lamps and so forth, pillows, things at the top. Uh, and sort of heavier items here towards the floor and towards the center of the box as well. So toolboxes, refrigerators, those things need to come in about in the middle of your process. Moving Help is a service that U-Haul provides that allows customers an open marketplace to read reviews as well as get pricing and have a couple guys come over and give them the help that they need to move some of the heavier items that they may have in or out of their house. Uh, and the way that they can do that is just go on to uhaul.com forward slash moving help and there they can read the reviews and get all the pricing that they need. Once U-boxes are loaded, the customers have the option of either keeping them on site or they can be picked up and stored at a U-box warehouse, uh, which are secure climate controlled facilities where customers have 24 hour access to their goods uh, and then they'll have the option as well as having the boxes delivered once they're ready. This really happened fast sort of a do-it-yourself with a little help kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. U-Haul has a solution for every moving and storage scenario. We had the packing supplies, U-Box. Moving help made it easy today. And with U-Box, you've got the option to store your things on-site or off-site, have them delivered, pick it up yourself, really whatever you need. So thanks very much. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. My pleasure. It was great that Designing Space has stepped up again and brought Sperry and of course, the U-Box. And when Brianna comes home for winter break, she won't even recognize the place. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on the U-Haul video. Also, you'll find a link to the U-Haul website. We visit the office of an insurance expert to learn about the different types of life insurance and how to select which is best for us and our family. Next, here on Designing Spaces. I'm at a point in my life where I have family depending on me. I work for a successful company with a promising future, but what does that mean for my family and my home if something were to happen to me? For the longest time, I thought life insurance was just something for my husband. I mean, he's covered at work. But then after speaking to some of our friends, we realized that we didn't know much about life insurance at all. I mean, does he have enough coverage? What would happen if I wasn't in the picture? Do I need to have coverage? We really need some questions answered by an expert to help us decide what would be the best insurance for our family and our, our situation. I think it's great that Designing Spaces and Transamerica put this Q&A together to talk a little bit about life insurance and the important role it plays in the lives of families. Today I'd like to talk about permanent life insurance such as universal life, but first we need to talk a little bit about the differences between whole life or permanent life and term insurance. Term insurance is a great way to provide coverage when your needs may be the greatest. You can purchase insurance for a specific period of time, 10, 20, or 30 years, but at the end of that 10, 20, or 30 years, you no longer have coverage. You oftentimes can renew the coverage, but it is at a substantial increase in cost. Thanks so much for explaining that. So I guess when you say permanent, you mean permanent? That's exactly what it means. Permanent coverage means for your entire life or as long as you pay the premiums. The beauty is that regardless of your age or health, once you have a permanent plan in place, it's in place. Now you mentioned universal life. Is that permanent? Can you explain the differences? Of course I can, Joe. Universal life is a permanent plan and it's built all around flexibility. In many ways, people look at universal life as a financial planning tool because it comes with cash value with each payment you make. But because of this, payments are usually higher. Your premium costs are higher because you do have this flexibility that is not offered with term coverage. I get the difference now. I never thought of life insurance as a financial planning tool. You know, one of our most popular universal life insurance policies that we offer at Transamerica is the Transace. It has many, many features that our customers really like. So, like what? 
Well, I would say one of the features that excites our customers is the income protection option. Let's say Joe purchases $500,000 of insurance, and then at that time, when the benefits paid, the beneficiary, Julie, you would get $140,000 up front, then $3,000 a month for 10 years to replace income, and a final lump sum of $65,000. So although you purchase $500,000, your total benefit would be $565,000. That's really interesting. I had, I had no idea that insurance could work like that. Yeah, Joe, many people don't. They also may not know that through universal life policies, you can choose to pay higher or lower premiums depending on your needs. Your policy will simply increase or decrease in value accordingly. That's really good to know. There's a lot of other benefits that excite our clients, such as tax deferred growth, guaranteed minimum interest crediting, and no lapse guarantees. One of my favorite features is the multi-flex surrender endorsement, which really means that you'll receive the enhanced surrender value instead of the cash value if the surrender value is greater. Our clients love this. Another feature is the accelerated death benefit. Let's say that you are diagnosed with a terminal illness, you have less than 12 months to live, you can receive up to $250,000 or 75% of the death benefit to take care of whatever costs that you may have. How much coverage is available? Great question. You can purchase as little as $25,000 to a $1 million or more, depending again on your specific needs for you and your family. And the best thing to do is to call one of our representatives or to visit us at transamericauniversallife.com, speak to one of our agents or go online, and they will help you customize a plan to fit your family's needs. I always recommend getting a rate quote. Make sure it can fit into your budget. Is Universal Life Insurance a plan like TransAce hard to get? No, what you'll do is you'll complete an application and then most of your work is done. The insurance company then will take over. They may ask you to get an exam to fulfill the underwriting requirements, but that's not always the case. And if it does happen that an exam is required, that's done at our cost and at your convenience. So I see you've got a laptop. Can you take us to the website and show us the ropes? I'll be happy to. Great. <laughs> For more information, visit transamericadirect.com. To see this portion of the show again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on the Transamerica video. You'll also find a link to their website. Don't go away, there's more Designing Spaces coming up right after the break. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We're Designing Spaces. We take on DIY projects, get creative with interior design, and get with the pros on remodeling and home improvements. I can see myself living here, I really can. I did my homework online and decided it's time for a makeover. I love being able to capture the everyday stories of life. Look at that, we can send that picture to daddy and to grandma. On Pet Spaces, we provide for our four-legged friends so they can have better health and a happy lifestyle. We deal with guinea pigs and hamsters and rabbits and goats, and we've even had pot-bellied pigs come through here, and one marmoset as well. Think Green is visiting the Honda Smart Home in Davis, California. A homeowner wants to think about their own priorities um, when they think about what sustainable and green means to them. Honda is striving to be a company that society wants to exist. It's not just about the transportation. We want to be able to provide solutions to the future in order for society to meet its long-term goals. At Designing Spaces, we look at how technology is changing the way we live for the better. Understanding how life insurance protects your family. Knowing what to do if your home has termites. Taking on do-it-yourself moving for a major remodeling project or relocating to a new home. We are here to show you what you can do to protect yourself and live the life you desire and deserve. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.